What's up guys, USC12HD here, and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to install mods on 1.7.2 and 1.6.4. For most mods, you're going to need Minecraft Forge, and um, they've come up with a convenient way of doing it. They have an installer now, so you don't have to worry about anything. Mods are so easy to do now. Um, anyway, but they don't have a 1.7.2 version yet, because I guess it's new and they just haven't created it yet. So I will be showing you using the 1.6.4 version, and that's what you need to use until 1.7.2 comes out, or it won't work. And um, it'll be the same process when 1.7.2 comes out. You can just you can just download it. Okay, so you're gonna want to go to your internet browser, and you're gonna want to type in MinecraftForge.net, and there'll be a link in the description for um, the files here. So it'll take you to the home page, then you click files. Right, so what you're going to want to do is whatever build you see, whichever one you want, I would go with either the latest or the recommended, but you go with 1.6.4. And so I guess I'll go with the latest. And I already have it downloaded, but you're just going to click installer. You're going to wait your time and whatever. So once you download it, I got it right here, you're just going to click on it and it'll pull up a program so just click install client click OK it'll uh, automatically do all this stuff and whatever it doesn't take super long but Okay, successfully installed client profile forge for forge version, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it grabbed two required libraries, whatever. Okay, so from here you're going to want to pull up your .minecraft folder. So I'm in Windows 8, so you just go to your start menu. You can do this in Windows 7, click the start button, type percent app data percent, and you see roaming over here. So that'll pull it that way, up that way. And then there's your dot Minecraft right here. But if you're on Windows XP, which I don't know why you'd be playing Minecraft because you're screwed, you would have to go find a run. Type in the same thing, percent app data percent, and it'll pull up the same thing. So just click on your dot Minecraft, and then you're in here. You don't have to modify anything really. You just have to add a new folder. And you're going to want it to say mods. No capitalization. Spell it exactly like that. Right. So there used to be core mods, but they took that out. So all you need is mods. And if a mod needs a core mod, you can just put it in here with the mods. Right. That's, I don't think that's confusing. but Right. So now all you got to do is drag your mods into the mods folder. Um, I got some over here. Some mods. This is from my uh, world. We'll just put in... Um, We'll do not enough items because it, it requires a core mod. So if you just drag this into here, that's not going to work. It has to have a core mod. And the core mod is code chicken core. So just drag whatever you, you're, you can just drag the zip files, the regular files, any, it doesn't matter, jar. Just drag them in here. And uh, make sure if your program needs core files, you download them and put them in the mods folder. You don't need a core mods folder like you used to. Right. So just exit out all that, pull up your Minecraft. So, okay, you see down here, you're going to go to Profiles, and you should see Forge. That's the one you're going to want to play on. So just click Play. All right. So we'll just, uh, I'll show you that it works. See, that's a good point that it works, that the uh, development thing pops up. Okay, so you see all the, if you don't see all this stuff and you don't see the mods, something went wrong. And uh, so if you have any questions, just ask me, leave in the comments, whatever. But I'll show you again, it works. Um, yeah.
And if you don't know what none of Adams is, uh, well. Okay. So you can change your settings, do whatever. I'm just gonna here to show you. So you just press E, and you see the right side here's your not enough items, and uh, you can just click on stuff, whatever. So there you go. That's how you do that, and that's pretty much it for today. I think that's pretty much all. If I forgot something, I will put it in the description if I remember. But that I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, I might, if anybody wants it, I can leave. I have a bunch of mods that are all compatible and work good. I got um, tree capitator, more health, damage indicators, which is great. Growable ores, a backpack mod, bombs plenty is good. Buildcraft, divine RPG, forestry, instant house mod, more ore mod, and the mini map mod, and tele kingdoms. So, um, if you want to download that, you can do whatever. And so there you go. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe for more tutorials, gameplay and stuff. I'm going to make a survival series out of that. But anyway, thanks for watching.